Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Arthur and welcome to a game called Everspace. This is a game that was in early access for a while and it recently came out in version 1.0. And um, this game is a space simulator roguelite kind of game. And if you guys are familiar with Faster Than Light, it's one of my favorite roguelites I've ever played. Um, this game is pretty much like a first person uh, Faster Than Light, which I think is really interesting. And so I wanted to uh, go ahead and go ahead make a video for you guys. So let's go ahead and play in first person. Not inverted. I don't want inverted controls. Are you drunk? All right, how vague can you possibly be, dude? This is cool. Pilot requires further training. Ooh. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. All right, move forward with W, backward with S, turn left and right using the mouse, up and down with the mouse, uh, strafe this way and that, all right. Hover, go up and going down, and I can boost by hitting shift. Okay, so let's go to this waypoint. And my cursor kind of locks onto the waypoint. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. Oh, there we shields. go. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Okay, understood. All right, select secondary weapons by tapping one. Okay. When holding down one, selection wheel will open. Oh, okay. There we go. Your pulse laser is stronger against shields. Your Gatling deals more hull damage. Switch primaries with wheel down. Oh, okay, so that's much easier. Thank you. Now I can deal more hole damage. There we go. Because I can see it shields and stuff. Ooh. On it, like that. Use missiles on the there next targets. Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. Press middle mouse. There we go. To lock on the target you're currently aiming at. There we go. Secondary fire. Boom. And I can change with it by hitting two. It appears as All if right. you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. Why well, just aim at it? I don't even have to go towards it. Dude, that's trippy. It's really cool looking too. This is just like faster than light. Wow. All right, so we can choose where we want to go. And most of the time it's good to go to an area where you can try and visit every area. And we have fuel. I noticed we had fuel. Dude! This game's freaking awesome! As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. Where's my fuel gauge? Aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Where's my fuel gauge? I'll use 25% of my fuel gauge. It's in the... It's that little icon right there. Okay, shoot at it. What if I Gatling it? There we go, that's good. Can it overheat? There we go. Yeah, we're max, fu max fuel. That should do it. Yeah, we do overheat. Okay. Is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. All right, we can do that. Can't seem to destroy that. Let's go over to this thing. Is 
This game is freaking pretty. I have located a container at some distance. I love space games. I really wish uh, No Man's Sky would have been better than it is. And I keep meaning to go replay it and all, but I mean, this is still pretty neat. Boop. Ah, resources. Beam laser. Weapon, but you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. Oh, okay. Powerful energy beam weapon that deals a constant high amount of both hull and shield damage. The, per the perfect tool for quickly destroying weaker drones. Okay. Uh, it has higher hull DPS and lower energy consumption, which is good. It doesn't have a high, it has lower range and lower shield DPS, but it, it's good at destroying both. So it's balanced. And then comparing to my Gatling, it's a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to replace the Gatling with it. There we go. Oh, I can salvage. And then we get scrap and ore. There we go. There is an outlaw ship in coming. Ooh. I would advise activating That's your cool. weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the encounter. Where? Weapon overdrive. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. Resources are essential for crafting and upgrading your decal weapon. color. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. All right, let's go ahead and travel. We just gotta stare at this. Oh, I have to be in line of sight of it, though. I wanna see what it looks like. I like this game, it's different. Oh, I just look at it, okay, I get it. Cause it's another, it's another galaxy. There we go. That's really cool. I like this. And loading times aren't very long at all. They're just kind of instant. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where? Ooh, there's is a that? ship. It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer some New more codex. substance to your answers. Boosting firing primary weapons and using device consumes energy. Pay attention to the bar. Yeah, I know. Dude, are you attacking me? Independent operators with varying affiliations profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy. Dude, get freaking wrecked. Maybe they have something I need. There we go. We got credits. We got a lot of credits. Ooh, I just melted that guy. All right, so there is combat and stuff. That's really cool. I'm liking this. I only got seven missiles. You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. Okay, so that was all that was there. I got a lot of scrap. I have a few. I have a thousand dollars. All right, that's empty now. There's one other place. Yeah, down over here. What if I bump into something? We have upon an oh, I get hurt. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Dude, there's a lot of stuff over here. Oh, we got fuel. Let's get some of that. There's a lot of stuff in here that I don't know what it does, but it looks important. Okay, let's get behind him. There we go, get wrecked. Get wrecked, I like this laser. Looks like my shields are down. Oh, and they replenish, okay, good. So things do replenish over time, which is nice. Plasma field. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. 
That's convenient. Plasma fully harvested. What is plasma? Crafting. You have collected enough resources for crafting. Go to the equipment menu to see which items can be modified or crafted from scratch. As indicated by a small icon in the slot's top right corner, select the build new or upgrade option to open the craft list. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, I can make missiles. Requires two ore and four scrap. Well, I only have three ore, so that would take up all my ore. Consumables. Shield. I want to upgrade my shield. I need crystals. Okay, so I need to try and find a way to get crystals. And it looks like I can't really make anything else or upgrade anything. Dude, this is cool. Forces inbound. Alright, well, let's hurry this up. Uh, we can trade plasma for money. A plasma mine. Shield breaker missiles. Uh, access key. Oh, that'd be nice to have 21 ore, but I need gas. But I don't have any gas. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Because these guys seem angry. Some Okars just jumped in. I recommend a phase of moves. You saying I should run from a fight? It's all the same to me. But we might get to our destination sooner if you know when to bow out. It's very true. Where do I leave? Yeah, I know I got low health. Oh no, I need to replenish my stuff. Crap. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. This could be a sticky situation here. And I can't warp. Oh no, I died! You can't warp when you're getting hit. I don't like that. I wish you could warp while getting hit. Okay, well that was my first run. I got new decal colors. And can I like upgrade my ship? Perks and upgrades. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. Select ship. Okay, I can buy new ships and stuff like that. This is just like faster than light, which I like. Oh, look at this. I can even look at it around it. That's cool. Uh, perks. Oh, here we go. Critical hit damage. Nanobot efficiency. Component damage chance. Device slots. Hull hit points. That would be good to have. Increased energy capacity. Fuel capacity. Sector scanner. Well, how many points do I have? Oh, it costs money to upgrade these things. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, and I can also uh, change my ship's color like this. Yeah, I think that's really cool looking. All right, and then we can just hit launch and go into our next uh, endeavor. But I think I've learned the basics of the game now, which is pretty much just like Faster Than Light, but in first person, like I said. And you can also play the game in third person, which is really cool, and also it has VR support. Um, I think that's a really, really cool idea. I like the game. I like how you can uh, add perks and stuff like that, and these are permanent. 
And so that's kind of like how roguelikes work, where you do one run and you basically have a 0% chance of beating the game in your first run. And then in your multiple other runs that you do, you unlock uh, extra stuff to make yourself stronger over time. And I think that's a really, really cool idea. And uh, so, yeah, in the next episode, I'll probably be even better in my run just because, you know, I uploaded, I upgraded my hull, how much damage I can take. I upgraded uh, my damage and how much loot I get and things like that, which is really cool. Um... But yeah, th this is my ship now. I, I changed a few colors on it. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also hit the bell so that way you guys get notified the next time I upload a video. And also support me on Patreon. That would really, really help me out. And as always, I'll see you guys later. I I'm going, I'm going fast. I'm Sonic. No, oh, okay. I'm dead. Ah! Dude, I put him in the gutter. Dude, I put him in the train Proud of it? Are you proud of it? You put the new guy in the drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 o